Hello, hello. My never-ending journey to make money in Puzzle Pirates continues. This week, I've been investigating the spooky skeletons and zombies in Puzzle Pirates, and if I can make good money by defeating them. If you log into Puzzle Pirates and your screen is all dark, that means one of two things is happening. Either you've messed up your brightness settings and you've broken your screen, or it's just some zombies or skeletons. Zombies and skeletons are NPCs that appear on random islands and can be challenged to a brawl. Skeletons use the sword fighting game and zombies use rumble. You pay 100 pieces of 8 to fight them and if you beat them up you can win 1000 pieces of 8 and one random pirate gets a sea monster hunt map. If you can get several of these done in a short period of time this could be a profit making machine. This is another reason to have global chat on. Paying attention to it is how I've managed to find most of the zombie and skeleton fights. Skeletons are affectionately called skellies by the community, despite only being one digit shorter to type. This is a competitive MMO after all, and every keystroke counts. Sometimes people lose against the skeletons, but you can fight them again soon after and win everything back. If you turn up halfway through a fight, this is one of the few times that there's the perverse incentive for you to want the humans to lose against the NPCs. That way you can join in next round and win all the money that they just lost. The biggest trouble I'm having with making money off these skeletons and zombies is that they take a lot of time to find and set up. It's easy enough to get enough people to fight them if they spawn at some easily accessible major populated island like Admiral, but if you're going for some of the more remote islands you might have a bit of trouble getting enough people there. It's especially difficult if you haven't even discovered the island in the first place. I guess the intention was to get people to travel to new islands and explore them, but if you can't actually get to them in the first place then it's just an inconvenience. I'm having a look at the rewards for doing zombies and skeleton fights, and it's a thousand pieces of eight for each fight that you win. They also reward one random map to a cursed isle, Atlantis, haunted sea, or a kraken location. If there's only one map being given out, then the reward doesn't seem to scale with the number of pirates in the fray. You can sometimes find a group of players who just want to fight zombies and skeletons, and you can really get a momentum going and fight a few battles in a row and start to earn some real money. However, these monsters spawn in groups of either 5 to 25, and if they appear as a group of 25 on a deserted island in the middle of nowhere, you're not realistically going to find 25 people to fight 25 skeletons. Skeletons and zombies start to leave at a rate of 1 per 5 minutes, so if your group is about 10 people or so, you would have to wait over an hour for the skeletons to despawn to a level that you can actually fight them. Most people aren't going to hang around for that long, so as soon as you see something like that happen, that's your cue to escape and do something else for an hour. There's actually a mission called Defeat the Skellies on the notice board, however it only appears if you have at least 100 pieces of 8 and renowned sword fighting. Not many people have renowned sword fighting nowadays, likely due to the issues with stats that I mentioned in another video. So basically, the majority of people that are playing this game will never actually see this mission, apart from the few sword fighting experts. There's a similar rumble mission for the zombies too, with the same requirements. And without this easy notification and whisk to the relevant island, it's a lot harder to get people to join in than it probably needs to be. Perhaps one day the developers will update the mission requirements to be more reasonable with the current state of the game. Hint hint hint. These missions were useful in exploring the entire world, as the skeletons and zombies often appear on remote islands. Without these missions, it actually gets pretty hard into trying to reach some of the islands as you won't have discovered them yet. For the past week I've actively gone after skeletons and zombies, and I haven't made much money at all. You never really lose money as you always win in the end. The main issue that I've had is I've struggled to find enough of them to actually fight. I think with the way the game is at the moment, my strategy will be to join these fights if I'm not doing anything else at the time, but not actively seek them out. What are your thoughts on skeletons and zombies? Do you bother fighting with them 